You graduated. Time to immediately get a job with a six-figure salary and buy that giant condo downtown. Am I right? Yeah? No? Hey everyone, so this video is going to talk about managing your post-grad expectations. If you're like me, you probably hoped that things would get way easier after you finish school, or, you know, at least not depressingly difficult. But life's not always that easy. Don't get me wrong, some of my friends got lucky, they got jobs right away, but most didn't. Most took jobs outside of what they studied just to start out, and some of them still haven't found work in the field they wanted. In fact, a report by TD Bank found that over 40% of new Canadian grads take up to a year before finding their first post-grad job. This is the reality most young people live with today, as they transition into their post-grad lives. It's scary, it's uncomfortable, and often, things just don't happen as fast as you'd like them to. Luckily, you don't have to be a statistic. At jobpostings.ca, we collected some tips that you can follow to beat the odds and make sure your post-grad career matches your expectations. Now, our first tip's easy. Visit your school's Career Center office. They have a ton of free services and workshops to help you plan your education, career, and job hunt early so that you're more prepared by the time you graduate. The thing is, most of the new grads we help rarely visit their school's Career Center until they're about to graduate. So, if you get into the habit of visiting them early, then you'll get more of their resources for yourself. Next up is to take on as many internships and co-ops as you can, and participate in as many student clubs as you can while you're in school. These days, employers expect graduates to have enough work experience and leadership experience to hit the ground running right after they hire you. And the thing is, if you don't actively take on internships or participate in student clubs that relate to your target profession, you'll never get that early experience, and that's going to leave you in the dust when competing for jobs against other grads. Our third tip, you can work on even after you've graduated, and that involves having a side project or side hustle. So, if you're a computer science grad, Work on an interesting coding project. If you're a graphic designer, work on your portfolio website or an Instagram account of your artwork. If you're a business major, then launch a small e-commerce project. Basically, if you aren't lucky enough to land a job right after school, then keeping your skills sharp and up to date with a side project is super important. Better yet, if you do a really good job with it, then it may even bring in a secondary income or get the attention of recruiters in your chosen field. Finally, our last tip is to strategically build your network. We've all heard this before, that you're the average of the people you surround yourself with. So if you want to become a top accountant, ask yourself, are you hanging out with other students who also want to become top accountants? Are you friends with accountants at the accounting companies you're thinking of working for? Are you attending accounting conferences? Are you fishing through LinkedIn and inviting senior accountants out for coffee? Once you figure out what you want to do, make an effort to surround yourself with those people who will push you there. Just sticking with your childhood friends isn't going to cut it anymore. On the whole, the goal of these tips is to help you directly and indirectly create opportunities that you can take advantage of to jumpstart your career and your future. So don't be passive. Take action towards your career goals. Well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching this jobpostings.ca job hunt video. Be sure to leave a comment below to tell us what you thought about today's career tips. Maybe you have a couple of your own that you'd like to share. And if you have any questions about this video or have requests for future job tip videos, please let us know. We'll do our best to answer everybody. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button or share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe down below.